when a projectile is fired horizontally, it will travel in a horizontal path. As it does, it will also fall towards the ground, accelerating downward at 9.8 meters per second squared. By determining the velocity of the projectile, one can calculate how far the projectile will travel horizontally. In this video, we use a tennis ball cannon to fire a projectile, a tennis ball, horizontally from the second floor window. Having first experimentally determined the horizontal velocity of the ball, the students were able to determine the horizontal displacement of the ball when it was fired from the window. Here, the physics students attached the cannon to a dynamics cart. They also attached a five centimeter card to the side of the cart. When fired, the recoil accelerated the card backwards. The card then passed through a CPO photo gate and timer. Using the width of the card and the time from the timer, they calculated the velocity of the cannon's recoil. This is the momentum calculation that was used to calculate the velocity of the tennis ball as it was fired from the cannon. Student calculations showed that the horizontal velocity of the tennis ball was about 171 miles per hour, or about 77 meters per second. And here you can see the students' final calculations on the board. On the left-hand side, you can see where they calculated that the ball would actually be in the air for 1.05 seconds when fired from a vertical height of 5.39 meters. Using that, they calculated that the horizontal displacement of the ball would be 79.8 meters, or approximately 80 meters. And they walked that distance, and that's where the ball landed, given a little error for air resistance. That was pretty good.